Okay, guys. So as you know, Carolina Barbecue Wars Tour is scheduled for October. We're going to be doing all our filming in October. We're very excited. Carolina Barbecue is more mustard, vinegar-based barbecue sauces. Um, it's a whole nother deliciousness. There's something wonderful about Carolina Barbecue as opposed to Memphis or Kansas City Barbecue. So anyway, we're going to go out there. We're going to go check out the best places that I could find. I've already surveyed the you guys. A lot of you have already gave me recommendations and I collected them all and I researched them all. So we have everything planned out. We have everything scheduled and um, we're going, going out there. I'm kind of excited. It's the third one we've done, Barbecue Wars Tour. And uh, I'll be looking for more information, be looking for more videos, be looking for more stuff. I'll also announce, if you live in the area, I'll announce like an hour or two before I'm going to be somewhere. If you want to come meet up, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. I know a lot of people in North and South Carolina. But let me show you how it comes to be. So I'm like, what do I want to smoke? Um, Tammy loves brisket. So we're probably smoking a brisket. Uh, I got a big one. So I'm probably cutting it in half. We can do a smaller section. Uh, I don't want to do I think it's like 13 pounds. It's huge. So uh, we're probably gonna do half of the brisket. We'll cut it in half. And then I thought, how can I make brisket better? How can, bacon. So we're gonna wrap it in bacon. And then I'm like, well, how can I make it even better than that? Stuffed or injected, something like that. I want some goodies inside the brisket. How can I do that? So we're gonna stuff it. Okay, what ingredients do I like? So right now, I'm gonna show you the ingredients for the stuffing of the brisket. We're gonna grind this all together and make a mush out of it and then pack it into the brisket. Then we'll seal it, wrap it in bacon, and we should have something very delicious. That's how it works. You just sit there, how can I make it better? How can I make it better? Then you hit a point where you're like, okay, that's probably the best I'm gonna do. Uh, I got stuffing and I got an outside of bacon. I mean, you can't get any better than that. So my mouth's watering as I'm talking about it. But anyway, we're gonna try out the new uh, Z Grill Smoker. Uh, let's talk the stuffing first. So come on in close. I'll show you all the things that I thought are good flavors that I want inside my brisket. So I wanna get a bunch of good flavors inside the brisket. And I'm thinking, what do I like? Well, I like onion. Uh, what else do I like? Well, I like garlic, okay? I love jalapenos. They're kind of a mild hot pepper. Uh, I'm really excited about this being inside the brisket. This is all gonna go together great. And then I wanted bell peppers. And then I thought, okay. And then I want some blue cheese crumbles. You may not be into blue cheese crumbles. If not, use a cheese that you like. I'm gonna put blue cheese crumbles in the mix. So I'm gonna grind these all together and then I'll toss the blue cheese crumbles in and work it in. So that's all gonna be smoked for however long it takes to cook the brisket. But this is my little stuffing, so let's get everything prepared. We're gonna grind it all down first, chop it all down, and that's what we're gonna use to stuff the brisket. I have it unplugged, don't plug it in with your hand in here. Make sure you got it all plugged, unplugged, so you're safe. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Put it all there, get it all on top. Press it all in, and let's get the, all right, so let's plug it in now. Are we on chop? Okay, no on chop. Good. Plug it in. There we go. like what I wanted. Let's unplug it before I put my hand in there. Unplug it. Let me show you what it looks like. Kind of looks like that. Okay. I'm going to do that with the onions and everything else. So that was the jalapenos. We did all the chopping. Let's get this all out of the way. We'll clean that later. Move that, move that. That's what it looks like a bunch of mush. See it? 
We don't want it to be too chunky, okay? Then we're gonna take our cheese, our blue cheese crumbles. You can do Parmesan, you can, you can do, put in cheddar cheese in here, whatever you want. I want blue cheese. Put that in there. And we're good. Here's the yucky part now. Here's the part that's gonna gross out some of you. Get your hand in there. There you go. Get it all mixed up. All mixed up. There you go. Okay guys, I'm gonna try something I haven't done in three years. You ready? Give me a second. I haven't done this in three years. Well, I believe I have. I did it on ribs. But I haven't cut meat other than ribs. And I've done it one-handed, so I'm using my second hand. Okay, guys, this is the half we're going to be using, the bigger half. Now, the thing I'm going to do is something I've never done, still. I'm going to somehow try to butterfly this with my bad hand. So, wish me luck, and if I lose a finger, I lose a finger. Okay. Once again, guys, I'm literally planning this to go. I have not, I have no recipe for this. I just came up with this and I'm, I butterflied it. That's the best I'm gonna do for butterflying to put the stuffing in. But what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna close it up and then I'm going to season this side. I'm gonna grab, grab your favorite seasoning. You'll see why in a minute why I'm doing this right now. Do that. I like heavy seasoning. Get this other one. I'm using Kinder's. This is the wood fire garlic, which is my favorite. And then I use the buttery herb by Kinder's. Good company. I don't know them, but they're good. we go take this seasoning close it up once again I'm just making this whole thing up as I go uh, take the whole thing and flip it there we go open it up again all right gonna sit here and season the inside of this meat Beautiful. Come on, my seasoning not coming out. There we go. Most of the stuff will fall off as they transport it. Or maybe not. Got the seasoning and then I've got my filling. Here's my filling. Okay. I think we got it all stuffed good. Make sure we got some here. Get some here. Here. Then we're gonna bring it back over. I got a big hole in the fat here, but we're gonna have that wrapped. All that's gonna get wrapped. So let's. There we go. Now it's stuffed. It's seasoned. Now last step before we wrap it up for the night is season it again. I love stuff like this. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Just playing around and practicing. Just This is why I like experimenting so much. Because if this comes out great, I'll have to watch the video to know how I did it. All right, we're all good? All right, let's uh, go ahead and wrap this up. Okay guys, so Tammy's home now and she's helped me do a weave of bacon. She's gonna put out um, strips of bacon and she's gonna cross strip them. And then we're gonna put the meat on top of it and then another layer of bacon is gonna be on top. Uh, I'll show you the finished product, okay? Just give us a few minutes. So that's what a bacon weave looks like. You've got pieces going up and down, up and down, up and down that way. Got pieces going up and down, up and down that way. You take a whole pound of bacon and make a, a sheet that's weaved through each other. And uh, the hardest part is going to be we're going to put the meat on top of here that's already been stuffed. And then we're going to put another bacon weave on top. And then we have to join all the sides and the corners. And uh, I can't, I, who knows if this is going to work out. We have no idea. Once again, I applaud my wife's artistic ability she did an amazing job of fully wrapping this we have one layer of bacon weave at the bottom one on the top we join the sides with these um, hors d'oeuvre toothpicks so we can see where they are we'll pull them out when we're done well there she is got her out here ready to go she could be cooking all night and uh tammy's bringing out the jack daniel pellets right now there they are, beautiful. So we're gonna load that up. That's called the hopper that she's loading. You need my help? Yep. Our uh, smoke is ready to go. You can see right there. There's all the pellets. And uh, we put it on high. You gotta run it high for the very first time. So we're just waiting for smoke to come coming out of this thing, billowing out of this. This is a nice little device. I'm loving this. They're little bucket liners, so you easily can catch the grease and then pull it out. It hangs right there. Awesome. They gave you a whole bunch of them, too. That was very cool. These are the little things. The shelf, the liners, and the bucket. Um, what she showed me, what did you show me about the um, smoke stack? Oh, that's because it's tight and you can aim. You can aim uh, where you want the smoke oh, billowing want, out, straight out. up. And I believe uh, the more you open that up, the more it allows it to burn better. I don't know. That would be something I'd have to experiment no, it's, with. No, it's completely open here, so it's not going to be in the... It's just oh, it's smoking. Yeah, it's just direction of smoke. Don't burn yourself. I saw smoke coming out. I'm starting to see little bits of smoke coming out of this. It takes a few minutes to get it going. But remember, you got to do a burn in. So what it does is you heat it up for about 30 minutes on high so that it can burn off all the factory oils that came on the device and get it all ready. It's kind of like seasoning a pan. One thing I just discovered about this specific Z grill, I don't know about the other models. The model I got does not have probes built in, which is a little bit of a bummer because it's almost unheard of that you don't get a meat probe anymore, but this model doesn't have one, so you're gonna, I'm just letting you know that you'll wanna pick one up on, like on Amazon or something that's that's a wireless Bluetooth thermometer, and because it's probably not coming with your smoker if you get this one. Okay, so let me go over a few things, all right? So first of all, when you're smoking brisket, the, the perfect formula is to smoke it uncovered out in the open get a crust and cook it all the way to 165 then you wrap it wrap it anything parchment paper foil uh, butcher paper at 165 you wrap it and keep that thermometer in there the meat probe and cook it all the way to 200 once it reaches 200 throw it in a cooler put towels over the meat so it's wrapped leave it wrapped put towels over it to keep the heat in but throw in a cooler to cool off slowly, all right? Cook it to 165, wrap it, and then when it hits 200, throw in a cooler for one hour. So we're gonna crack it open. 
Here's all the towels. I put a bunch of hand towels on top. Oh, it's still hot. Yeah, it's still hot. The towels are all hot and wet. I'm just gonna open it up like a Christmas present. Yeah, the bacon got all broken and destroyed, but it looks, looks fully cooked. All right, guys, here we go. Cutting right in the middle. That's what it looks like stuffed. That's beautiful. Okay, guys, I got the stuffing. It's all falling apart. The meat's falling apart. What do you expect? You smoked it all day. You, you cooled it in a cooler. It just makes it really tender. Uh, let's give it a try. Here we go. Ooh, smells spicy. Mmm. Got a smoky taste to it. It was way in the center of the meat, too. Alright, let's grab a piece of meat. There we go. Wow. Mm hmm. The brisket meat has a beautiful smoke ring, it's perfectly tender. It's dripping wet. The stuffing is spicy. Gives it more flavor. The bacon's crispy. Everything came out beautiful. So I'm going to just snack on this. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Got any ideas? Write me. Because we're going to have some fun. All right? Because autumn's coming. Well, maybe by the time you see this, autumn will be here. Probably not. But uh, I'll try and get this put up as soon as possible. I just want to thank Z Grills. They have yet to not impress me. Z Grills has been with me for years. I've had fun with this company. Reliable customer service beyond. Via email, via Instagram, via phone, via anything. So check out Z Grills. Try the blind box. This is the review. We made this delicious dish on that Z Grills unit. That's the lowest one they got. So you can't go wrong. My mouth is so watering right now. So anyway, I'm going to snack. I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.